YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Love Sam. This is a horror game that I've been eyeing for so many months now. I downloaded it at one point because it looked really cool, and a lot of you guys suggested it to me back in the day. Uh, and then I just had it on my desktop, I had it around, uh, saw it time and time again, and just kind of got used to it being there, but I never actually played it. So now, finally, today, I was like, why don't I play the game that I've had there for so long? And we're gonna check it out together. It's like a two hour experience. I've heard great things, so I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time time and let's hop into love sam also a little disclaimer i've heard that this game has flashing lights in it so if you are uh sensitive to that be careful but anyway let's hop in oh here we go flashing lights be careful i am standing up it's very dark out here what do we got i got something blinking that's my light with a little heart next to it how cute oh this is the game looks awesome can i get some food there's barely anything in your fridge. I just closed the door in my own face. I can... What is in here? Nothing. What is that? I can see underneath it. Is there food in there? Can I eat any of this? You gotta go to the grocery store, my man. Or my lady. I don't know what I... I don't know who I'm playing at. I, I don't have a flashlight, I think. That is like there's a fire in your microwave. Also, is this microwave even plugged in? Who has an outlet? Out there... Wait, there's reflections and stuff? Look at that. Anyway... Uh, who is a power outlet at the back of their kitchen? That seems kind of weird. Oh, we got a book right here. My dirty little secrets. Read on... Wait, what does it say? Read on to move on. And I check my phone. My phone battery's empty. That is the largest pencil I've ever seen in my life. That pencil is like twice the size of this book. What the fuck? I'm going to sit down and read? Or should we look around a little bit more? Can I open... Oh, I can't open this. That's a, just a one big pile of clothes. Another big pile of clothes. Also, this closes by itself. Very interesting. Can I turn off the lights and just fall back asleep? There's two lights. What does this one do? It's literally just an extra... Oh, it's over here. Never mind. Can I hide? I have to hide in the closet. Is this Phasmo? Are we going to get hunted by a ghost? I cannot leave my own house. I've locked myself in. It is uh almost 10, 10 p.m., I'm guessing. Or a.m. I don't know. What the hell kind of echo do you have in your bathroom? What the heck? That is kind of terrifying. That is such a deep echo. <laughs> anyway, I've I've delayed long enough. Who closed that door? I've delayed long enough. Let's read the diary. My dear Leah's secret. Read on to move on. How do I open this? How do I open it? Can I... Oh, oh I'm going to stab my book. What? Hello? Can I open it? E, F, Q. One, two, three. Click. Phone. Oh, here we go. There you go. Heart. The last human on Earth, Earth was sitting alone in a room. There come a knock on the door. I've never cared for keeping a diary, but now it seems to be a good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I just can't forget about what used to be the light of my life. I know over dramatic much. Knowing Brian Colmer as much of as much as I did is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. That's a that's a nice picture. I can't draw for shit, by the way. If I have I used to like draw as a child, but then I just start stopped drawing for like ten years and I and I can't do it anymore. Let's just say this diary is what's left of our relationship. Is your name's your name's not Sam? I, I I thought the game title was Love Sam. What the heck? Three years. Three years, no, three years have passed and the world around me is still the same. Well, except for me. I look like a mummified corpse. What would B say if he saw me again, Brian? B Brian left Rosen Peak the moment he graduated high school to go to a... F to go to a fancy college of his dreams. Since then, I could only rely on my memories of him to keep me... to keep on going. I wonder if it was the same for him too. Also, what the heck was that? When you would, when you love someone, his whole existence just gets etched into your brain. So no, no matter how much B changed, I always know it's him. Wait, interesting. Okay, uh, but will B do the same for me? I know B liked me a lot too, but he was not the most likely person to remember stuff. Considering how long three years felt for me, it's possible he did forget about me. Or am I going? Or, or am I giving him too little credit? So here comes the big question. 
Will he remember me? And you drew a freaking crazy Ouija board? Let's try. Uh, I'm gonna say yes or no. Is this gonna be the ultimate question? This is gonna this is gonna be deciding what ending we get. Are we gonna say yes or no? It sounds kind. You sound kind of obsessed with this guy, and I don't know you guys' relationship. Yes or no? Can we spell a word? Yes, no, yes, no. I'm seeing lots of yeses. Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We didn't have the most perfect relationship, but he just- He won't just dump his memory of me down the toilet or something. He's too much of a nice guy for that. He's on Reddit. Uh, don't forget cute. I just hope our time together was meaningful enough to him. Enough to make him cherish, cherish even the darkest ones. What the fuck? Can you, can you fucking charge your phone, by the way? I don't like having a phone that's not charged. It makes me anxious. Whenever I see that thing blinking, I need to charge it. Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder what happened to Joe's Diner. Used to be one of my favorite places. Uh, n place? Used to be my favorite place, naturally, because it was Brian's favorite place to begin with. Are you being a creep? If there were two things that were too good for Rosenpeak, it would be Brian and Joe's Diner. Home of the best pancakes in the world. Brian Colmer. Five stars. Joe's Diner Burger Place. Or burgers and- Burgers and pancakes? I can't go back, by the way. It's a- If I decide to flip a page, it's there forever. Things were so much easier back then. B could just go, hey. And I would just go, like, hey. Nothing but hanging out after that. Uh, nothing but hanging out after that. With some occasional visit to Colton Hill. We had such a good thing going. Okay. It seems like you were just like acquaintances in high school. Uh, will he remember my voice? Will he say hey to me again? But... Did... What? Did time already ruin our moments? Did you predict this happening? Is this Brian? Uh, I'm going to pick up the phone. What's happening in the corner? What's this breathing? Have I kidnapped someone? What the fuck is going on? Can you put your phone back down, please? Put the phone back down! Thank you. Okay. I just wanted to say hello every time I called him. But what I want to do and can do are two different things, as always. Just enjoying B's presence on the other side of the phone was satisfying too, in a way though. I imagined him eagerly waiting to hear something other than my breath. I wish I could sneak into people's minds. Okay, you are so sure. Oh, you motherfucker. Look beyond their eyes just by staring. What? Can I get off the chair? Am I locked into a prison? Why are there prison bars in front of my window, huh? Also, why does your light keep flickering? I'm gonna go to the faucet, drink some water. IRL, the most immersive game of all time. All right, done. Thank you. Also, I should do the dishes. What the fuck is this? The sink is disgusting. Can I sit down, please? Thank you. What do I got here? Wait, does this just appear? Was this there before? August 21st, 2006. That as a debut, debut, debut outfit? I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school years were probably over. First day of new, of, of new school and the new girl in town got classified as undesirable by what seems to be the Queen of Wayright Academy. I spent last night telling myself, confidence, Sam, confidence! But looks like I should have spent that time picking better clothes. I try not to care too much about blending in, but these kids already look at me like I'm... I'm a candy handed out by strangers. The package seems fine, but you know there's something fishy in there. Judging from their whispers, I could figure out they didn't know Wayright even accepted transfers. It's been less than tw 24 hours since I moved to Rosen Peak, and I already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than attempting to socialize with people who call me a city girl. Well, screw you two hillbillies! Besides, I decided to not force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys leave me alone at least. 
Keeping a diary sure can help think, keep things together in all the chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but this all seems like a good time to restart. Kudos to mom for giving me the advice. Oh, shoot, I almost forgot to call her. Write you later, uh, write you later, diary. My only true friend, love, Sam. Roll the credits. We found the name of the, th oh, we found the name of the game. Don't get off that. Sit on the, your butt. Sit on your butt. You could write in kindergarten? This is a very special kid. If I had that power, I would never stop looking through B's window. Okay. Okay. Uh, excuse me? What is happening here? Will B remember the moment he came into my life? For me, it is as clear as the moment he left. So clear that the downfall of our relationship still cuts deep into my heart. Stranger... Friend, special someone fucking dies. Stranger. Excuse? Yeah, life in Rosen Peak was a jar filled with bittersweet. Did that just change? Was a jar filled with bittersweet candies. Not exactly tasteful, but I learned to enjoy it. Nevertheless, it's where my heart lies. I thought the lies just went like caps. Or a little bit. Um, I don't know if I saw that correct. Wrote a poem in B's memory. He used to struggle with Miss Lazy's Lazley's with Miss Lazley's poetry practices. Even if he didn't have to try that hard, Miss Lazley's always told us poetry is not about using fancy words. Let your feelings do all the work. Well, this is how I feel. A stand stand at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. He rushes down the stairs heart red like fire. But before his spirit can soar first, first, he must answer the door. Knock. Excuse me? It went from lies to lies. Uh, light switch? Oh, the light's broken? The light's blinking? Uh-oh. Uh oh. I can't see shit. You should clean this thing. There's literally nothing to see. Is it upside down? My whole world upside down, inside out? I can't see anything. Can I turn the light on out there? What the f- is it- wait. I can't open the door. I can't open the door. I did not see a thing. I don't know if I was supposed to see something. Does it need cleaning? Maybe I'm just... The blinking. The blinking trips me out. Uh, the door fucking opened? Someone come in? This is a magic diary. Also, there's a new letter that wasn't there before. What the heck is going on? August 22nd. That's a day later. Stacy is a classic. Uh, for your information, she's the one who talked crap about my favorite vintage shirt. It's like she jumped straight out of a cheesy teen drama. Blonde, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. She even has a beefy jock for a boyfriend. Uh, I didn't want to start talking shit about someone already, but how could I resist? Every time I get in Stacy's view, tr every time I get in Stacy's view, triggered an obvious backbite. I'm seriously think, starting to think she's under a curse that kills her if she stopped talking about someone else. I'm Stacy. I'm pretty. Sadly, coping with her bitchiness wasn't the hardest part of the day. Mom called again. As for, as far as she knows, it's just rainbows and butterflies here in Rosen Peak. I can still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my ap application was accepted by Waywright. None of us were expecting them to approve a transfer request of an 11th grader. Even if she told me she understands my need to move out of the city, I really feel guilty for leaving her alone. Okay, so I'm completely unfamiliar with the uh, U.S. school system. If you are in 11th grade, how old are you? Are you 15 years old? Is that a good guess? You already used up your last runaway chance, Sam. 17. 16, 17. Okay. So wait, why is it called 11th grade? Is it? How does the school system work? Is it like two years of preschool or like kindergarten and then at like age six you start normal you start like school it goes up to 12 okay third okay anyway yes bingo i did it i'm so smart anyway uh you already used up your last runaway chance sam get yourself together if not for you for mom one year kindergarten okay 
It just depends. At age five, you start kindergarten. Here, we just start elementary school at four. Hey? You said hey! That's what we wanted. Other way right kids were so predictable. Their doors were already open, even before I put my hand on the knob. But B's door was closed shut, and so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him, but couldn't get him to open up. What the fuck is this? I knew there was something more behind that pretty paint. Something behind his bright smile. Can I look through the peephole? Is that a thing? I don't think I can. I cannot look at this anymore. Wait, did I miss something? I think the grades work where you're at. The grades uh, where I live are s scored on a scale from 1 to 10. It's just very simple. I never understood the A, B, C, D, F system. It's so alien to me. I don't know why you guys do that. It seems ridiculous. Seems like such... Seems like you just make extra steps to figure out what your what your grade is. Just doesn't make sense to me. But on the other... Like, the way the, the grade system 1 to 10 works is literally just if you have it, everything wrong, you get 1. If you have everything correct, you get a 10. And then it's just a normal... And then it's just a scale in between. That's it. It's so simple. Um, I mean, 0 to 100 is even better, but I don't know why we started at 1. It just starts at 1. Anyway. But on the other hand, being able to hang out with him was a good enough blessing, blessing for me. Enough to make me want to never leave his side. Never. Ever. Um, clock? What happened? Why is it so quiet? I'm creeped. Grab a knife. I, I don't think we want to give this character a knife. Maybe not. Um, I guess I'll just continue reading. I didn't hear anything. Uh oh, someone's coming closer. I'm actually kind of spooked. <laughs> oh! What the fuck? I broke the lights. How do I fix this? Use my phone. Use my phone as a. Don't pick up the. What the hell? August twenty fourth. 2006, my first Rosen Peak weekend. As the name itself gives away, the small town fits perfectly as a setting for a mystery horror genre. Lush forests, endless hills, and a lake that I'm certain is hiding a couple of dead bodies. I could pay a visit one day and take some gorgeous shots. As for now, I'm just going gonna leave those pole? Those things on my to-do list. Uh, which is already f I'm not a I'm not a zoomer. I don't know this lingo which is already filled with crazy amounts of homework Points of interest. Oh, I'm stupid. Um, I now know why youngsters of Wayright try will try their best to get as far away from school as possible after cl after class to escape from choking on the pressure that teachers give them even on weekdays pretty girls like Stacy will have their boyfriends give them a ride and others will make use of the power of public transportation to get to the more crowded part of town it's she writes it down as if it's like something completely out of a, like an alien movie even though it's like how 99 percent of the whole world gets around except the people in the u.s it does feel too quiet with no one left in school but at least i don't feel as lonely as i was in san diego at least i don't have to watch everyone i know i know turn wait I'm stupid. At least I don't have to watch everyone I know turn their faces away like I'm some kind of demon spawn. At least I don't have to be reminded how fucked up things can be in a single moment. Moving on won't be easy, but as long as I keep myself busy, it won't be that hard. As for my weekend plan, I'll just impro improvise in the morning. Write you later. Love, Sam. And the love got scratched out a little bit? Yeah, I read this. Uh, could I get a light, please? Could you stop being like this? I don't like this at all. Turn on the light over here, maybe? Oh, well, this works. Someone behind here. Is there a breaker anywhere? Can I flush the toilet? Can I flush the toilet? I'm so offended. Is there a I, ooh, fucking door just closed? 
I can't. Oh, here we go. That's better. I don't like this at all. I wish I could turn the main light back on, but I can't. Get out. I don't think I can leave. B was always pushing his limits. Well, it was more like he was always being pushed, but he was good at it. That's why he was natural. That's why he naturally became the best quarterback of the team while maintaining a high grade for a star player. Oh boy, it's like a uh, Zac Efron in High School Musical. What a guy. B was the best quarterback Way Wright could ask for. Seeing him running all sweaty on the field always triggered something tingly within me. Why sweaty though? <laughs> Something that made me want to catch him behind his back and never let go. All right, you are a serial killer. <laughs> that's some, that serial killer talk right there. All sorts of feeling and thoughts were pumped resent, relent, restlessly. I just, why do I make up these words? Into my brain with every heartbeat. It gave me a bad headache, a good kind of bad headache. I wanted it to stop. I wanted it to never stop. This is this is maidenless behavior. <laughs> I think she is the maiden though. But as soon as B gave me that hey, all those headaches were washed away. It used to be the best prescription it I could ever ask for. Take away the pain and let only the good things stay. Hey, what is that taped over? What is that taped over? Hi. Hey. It's missing. Uh oh, do we need it? Do we need to get it? Aha. And then we put it over. That's uh, awesome. I'm taking a screenshot right there. <laughs> I'm just going to fill that up. Hello? Who's there? Is that an eyeball? I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, someone creepy is here. I can't even move. Oh, new letter. August 31st. For a boarding school, Wayright intellectuals are not that interested in becoming intelligent. <laughs> I visited the library today, and two things surprised me. Number one, the place was much bigger than the one in my old school. Someone could get lost in here. I had a strong feel two, I had a strong feeling that people rarely visit the library. Maybe because they feared being lost in there. The place was too clean. Even the books showed little sign of human touch. Now I feel sorry for complaining about Miss La Lasley's book assignment. I wonder if Stacy is even thinking of picking a book. With her admiring her boyfriend's Kyle's tattoos all day, I doubt she has spare time to do that. Is she, is she depending on Kyle to do that reading for her? Seriously? According to what I saw so far, he's either busy reacting to whatever is coming out of Stacy's mouth or working up some shenanigans with his jock buddy. Brian, was it? Wait, isn't that your jock buddy? Uh, so yeah, right. In the meantime, I should be more concerned about myself than the well-being of the whole school. We too cool for books. We too cool for books. Wow. I mean, I guess he's talking about the, the other people. Can I move now? I can't. Open those eyes. No need for words. The sweetest love songs, those eyes utters. Isn't utter... Oh, no, that's with these. <laughs> Never mind. Um... What the f- Hello? Who the fuck just took a photo of me? Excuse me? I got a stick! I'm like a dog! I can't turn this main light off. On. What am I gonna do with the stick? Do I bring the stick over here? Do I block the- Oh, I put the stick down. I- I collected a stick. I'm a dog. Okay. Nothing else here? Wait, the arrow disappeared. Am I going insane? I think the answer to that is probably yes. I will just keep the stick, I guess. I hope we don't need that. So turn around. Uh, September 4th. Visited the library again. A more... A bit more people than before. And among them was Brian. She's not... Or she's not calling them B. Is th this book... The diary must be written by the same person, right? It's not worth a bother, but seeing a major skank's boyfriend's... Seeing a major skank's boyfriend's bud, I see. 
Wandering around in a library is uncanny by anyone's standards. He must have been there to pick up a book for Miss Leslie's assignment. I always almost got too close to him, trying to see what he was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. You are a certified creepy one. A jock in a library. Now I've seen everything. What was me? I hate to admit, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary-worthy event. Probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me the sensation of someone talking behind my back. At least today's entry is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now. Write to you later. Love, Sam. Uh, okay. So turn around and sing for me. You did. You sung for me. Also, that's terrifying. Was that the photo? I miss him. Even when I'm with him, I see him. Even when he is not looking. What the fuck? Dude, fuck this. Am I Brian? Am I being stalked right now? That bed looks really comfy. This is terrifying. Um, I can't move? Wait. Uh-oh. I'm gonna hit you with the stick. Can I pick it up? I can. Can I use the stick under the bed? Oh. Okay, then. September 7th. It was Mr. Kane's ninth psychology class, and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. This time he gave each of us a sheet and made us write down some of our personal traits. For the next ten cringy minutes, I managed to squeeze out some of the aspects of myself that I could hate less. After that, Mr. Kane told us to think about whether or not others would agree to each of them. He called it re-engaging the perspective towards oneself. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. Like, I really needed to reevaluate my stupid self. But it's not the dumb subconscious exercise that's bugging me right now. When the papers were being passed around, Brian, yeah, him again, kind of smiled at me. It's 11 p.m. now. Why am I writing about this? It's most likely an accidental glance, but I still don't know why he... The very image hovered in my head for the rest of the class. Okay, the rest of the day. Stupid brain probably wanted an excuse for screwing up today's math test. Get out of my brain, Brian! Get out of my... Oh, no. Brian brain. <laughs> brain brain. <laughs> Oh! I'm never going to sleep again. Could you not? Holy fuck. Okay, we're collecting the letters. There's definitely, like, there's no date on this diary, but I feel like this diary is way later than this. We're, like, seeing the ev evolution into just complete soccer. Can I continue the book now? Can I continue the book now? I can. This is Lisa. It's literally Lisa. <laughs> it's Lisa the video game. <laughs> Love Lisa. As the time we spent together grew longer, one question kept on growing with it. What does the me in B's eyes look like? Does he see me as I see him? Does he see me as I see myself? Does he see me as I want him to? I screamed in agony, but there was nobody to even hear it. Everything okay out here? Just making sure before I continue. I can go back. Why can't I go back now? I couldn't do that before. So many noises. Well, others things think that I do not overthink. Oh, it's time to take a test. Time to take a test. I'm gonna fill it in as Twitch chat. Uh, will others think that I do not overthink? No. Wait, what is this question? Do not, do not overthink. So, if we say no, that means yes, and yes means no. So, no. <laughs> 
Would never lie to any of my friends. Twitch chat always says dots, so we're definitely gonna say no right there. Uh, never use others for my personal gains. Twitch chat be literally getting me to say anything at all times, so I'm gonna say no right there. Uh, will others think that I won't betray anyone close to me? They literally tell me, like, 50% of chat tells me to kill everyone when I play with other people, and 50% tells me that I'm the devil spawn if I do even remotely in get involved in anyone's murder, so obviously going to say no there. Never act on an impulse. Y have you ever seen Twitch chat? Don't run away from my responsibilities. They're literally watching me right now instead of doing their homework, so I'm gonna say no. Am a fucking freak? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what the fuck just happened? I'm sorry, I was too I was having too much fun being Twitch chat. <laughs> September eleventh. I was returning some of the books I checked out when he came out of nowhere. Hey, anything worth reading? I never thought the voice was aimed at me, but my heart was somehow already skipping a beat. Brian had to tap me on the shoulder to get my complete attention. Sam, right? I saw you going in and out of the library. He said with a buttery voice. It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. I come here from that time from time to time too to get the stupid assignments out of the way so I can focus on my games. He said he couldn't find anything interesting to read, and since all I, he could think of were comics, he could use some guidance. My mind was still jumbled up from the ambush. All I remember saying is, how about misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started. How many books has Stephen King written? Didn't Stephen King literally have to make like a fake writer? Like he made like a pseudonym because the publication that he was like writing for didn't want to publish any more of his books because he was literally writing too many. How many? Like a hundred books? That's so many fucking books, dude. Yeah, he, he started writing as someone else because the pu the publisher was like, dude, we can't bring out like a book a month. Are you fucking crazy? And then he was like, well, hold my beer. I'm going to do it myself. Anyway, um, enough to get you started. Because boys like any story with blood and breaking bones, right? Oh, God. I don't recall how the rest of the conversation went, but I'm certainly he said, see you later at some point. And I said, yeah, see ya. Misery. Real nice, Sam. If Brian didn't know you were a weirdo, he does now. Um, okay, I'm gonna just continue. What if I did things differently? I was continuously surrounded by assholes, but I can't call myself a great human being either. My life was in chaos. I barely had time to think about who I was. And with all those noises hovering around me, all I could think of was a simple life. Oh, um, I can't... There we go. I never wanted a, a drama. I never, I wanted a poemish life. A tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's totally fine if no one else gets it, as long as B does. B was always welcome in my world. I gave him the key to it. Even if he lost it, he could always come back to our world to find it. And I think it's a good time to come back now, B. Let's go back to our small world, where I place my heart at everywhere you loved. Oh, God. Let's go back. Uh, well, I know what you like. You like Joe's Diner. I'm gonna write a heart right there. Can I do that? I can't do that. Or do I have to do it next to it? I... Hello? I can't do this. I'm gonna take this heart. Wait, the heart's different now. It's so much smaller. Oh, I can pick it up. What the fuck? I'm going to place this. On here? Wait, this is very interesting. I remember there was a heart right there. Can I pick it up? Uh, do a place right there. Can I pick it up? Pick up the heart, please. I cannot pick up the heart. Okay, so it's stuck here now forever. Do I need to collect more? I don't remember seeing any other hearts. I think that was the only one. Um, can I place it? Egwene, thank you for the four months. Maybe I can pick it up with the pencil. No, I can't pick up the heart. Um... Joe Steiner. Joe Steiner? Hello? The fridge? There's a heart on the fridge? There is... No heart on the fridge. There is... No... That was an arrow. That was not a heart. Dinner table? No, no, no. That was an arrow. Yeah, I don't think there was another one. Hey, I have not opened these. This one's locked? Hmm. This 
suspicious. What's in here? Nothing. I can't open it. I don't have a, a reflection. I, the echo in here is crazy. Under the bed, light switch. Yeah, I already picked that one. Stop closing that door. I think I have to do it with this. We have to find the key, right? Can I go back? Oh! What the fuck? But I know he's not coming back. I will never hear that hey again. I will never know what it's... What's behind his door locked tight with smiles. Because I gave him my key and B didn't. Can I open something with this? Oh. Two hearts, we got three. September 16th. Turns out the lake does have a history of having a dead body in it. I know this because I visited there. I visited there, there because Brian took me there. What? It all happened so fast. I was outside the yard reading when Brian appeared out of nowhere again. And he said, hey. And started yelling, telling me how he actually enjoyed the book. And how he never read the same book twice in his life. And since he was heading out... Wait. And how he never read the same book twice in his life. But this one probably did, I'm guessing. And since he was heading out, he offered me to give me a tour of the town. Ten minutes later, we were passing Joe's Diner. Home of the world's famous pancakes, says Brian. There was also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates the place because it's teeming with ten-year-olds. The donut shop was Brian's must-go-to place, too. Unlike the music store, which, according to him, seriously needs to restock. So we have a donut shop, Joe's Diner. Those are two hearts. Um, seriously needs to restock. I found my own point of interest. A bookstore. It was weird seeing a bookstore and a gym standing side by side, though. At the end of the tour, I finally got, got to taste that sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out the window, I could see the weird gi gigantic hill that was also visible from my dorm room. Brian revealed that it's secrets, secret base, that it's his secret base of some kind since few people actually visit Colton Hill. He jokingly said he could take me there when I'm cool enough. After dinner, Brian dropped me off at the bus station and drove off to meet up with his friends. I was exhausted but hyped beyond my limits. I can't sleep. How can I sleep when the- how can I when the whole day just feels like a dream? Okay, so hill as well, I'm guessing. So it's gonna be... Let's place these. It's going to be... Pick up a heart. Place it at Joe's Diner. Joe's Diner? The music- the- what was the other one? Donut shop, right? The donut shop? And then the hill. What the fuck? Hello? I did it? I don't know what- Why did I do this again? What was the point here? Let's go back to a small world where I placed my heart at everywhere you loved. Let's go back. Did I do it? I miss Morning Dew Bakery. B never shut up, shut up about, its, about its donuts. So tasty. They did taste sweet, just like B's heart. Are you a cannibal now? Each bite was another memory to savor. But just as a donut, it had an expiration date. It turned cold and bitter. I miss its... I miss its warmth. I miss its sweetness. I need it. I need to eat it up. Uh... Heart? I have a heart? I have a heart? Heart? The fridge is open! Uh-oh. There's a donut in the fridge! Yum. I will take that one. Looks tasty. Can I- I should- Oh, the door's already closed. Did I close that? I don't think I did. Yum, yum. Uh, continue? I can't continue. Did I place the donut? What do I do? Can I pick up the donut? I have to do something with the donut. I have to eat it. Eat it! I can't eat it. What do I do with the donut? I need to eat it up. Do we throw it in the trash? Is there a trash can? Microwave it? Why would you microwave a donut? Are you insane? What the fuck?! <laughs> Bro. 
Rare Twitch chat moment? Oh! What the fuck? September 25th. The golems just obliterated the hammer hats today. I now know they say Brian and Cal are more than buds. I would have called them an awesome duo too, if only Cal wasn't an ass load of douche. I mean, the guy has its name tattooed on his arm. Kyle is the most, Kyle and Kevin are probably the most douchey names you could probably possibly imagine for someone. I'm sorry if your name is Kyle or Kevin. <laughs> I didn't, nothing personal. It's just an observation. Uh, I, also, tattooing your own name on your arm is insane. Call me old-fashioned, but I think you should go to a hospital and get that ego checked out, because it must be swollen huge. At least he leaves me alone, other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy. I I understand how Stacy can keep hanging out with him, but Brian? They do say we sometimes become friends with those we are opposite at the opposite ends so maybe it's not such a weird thing charlotte thank you for the gift sub for me the real win was the photos i took of brian watch out for sam holt the rising teenage stalker <laughs> bringing the polaroid camera i bought years ago during my camera geek face seemed like a good idea now sigh i or uh i know we promised myself i know i promised myself to stay away from people Stay away from the drama, but when I look at Brian, when he talks to me, it feels like maybe, just maybe, it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not ready to define what this feeling is, but for now, I'm going to label it as looking for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under my bed like the, like the just like the pictures I took today. Also, what? There's a picture under my bed? Do I grab the picture under the bed? I guess not. Also, can I eat that donut? Oh, it doesn't seem like it's very good anymore. <laughs> nope. All right, I'll just close that and never look at it again. It exploded into blood. There was a hand under the bed? What the fuck? I did not see it. I did not see any hand. Can I continue the book? I don't know if I can. I can. I can. I hated every moment I was not with B. I was helpless. Every day I wanted to call him, just so we could chat. But I was afraid of what Brian would think of it. Why does she call him B and Brian interchangeably? This is weird. It could even hurt his reputation. When I finally worked up the nerve to call, all I could do was listen to him say hello. That was as far as our, our late night phone calls chit chat could go. I hung up, wondering if he knew who was on the other end of the line. Wait, is that just what happened? Remember when we got called? Uh-oh. I remember the strong burning sensation that came every time I called him. That red, fiery sensation. Red. So fucking red. I can't move. Red everywhere. That's uh, a little fucked up. Finish what you started. Um, heart. Heart. I can't crouch. Uh oh. Can I? Can I do anything? I cannot. I don't have a pencil. I don't have paint. How do I draw? Can I get... Can I draw? Oh! It says epic! Epic! Here we go. Can I draw this myself? Oh my god. Can I fuck this up? I should probably not fuck it up. Uh oh. I wanted to draw... I didn't want to draw a PP, I promise. I have to do this, guys. If I try anything else, I get...
What the fuck, man? Okay, dude. Bad ending? Jesus Christ. I guess I'll be drawing like a good boy. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna just draw what I'm supposed to draw here. What the fuck? Holy shit, this game is really cool. <laughs> That's also terrifying. Uh, heart, heart, heart everywhere. Oh boy, here we go again. I should probably not fuck it up, because otherwise I get killed. Boop. Close. Close. Close it! I can't close it! Who locked that? Oh. Finish what you started. Did I not already finish it? Uh-oh. What's behind this? Hello? Oh, more over here. I can't see. Is there anything over here that I need to finish? On the desk? Oh, there. That's through the window. I am seeing blurry. My vision is fucked right now. Ow! I hurt myself. I can't see. Uh... Please don't kill me. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck, man? That shit came out of nowhere. That was awesome. <laughs> I got lamped to the head. Uh, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Please. I don't want to be here. Uh-oh. Who's that? Is that a person? Hello? I swear I heard. Footsteps. It's a note. Sam, meet me at Col that's a bright note. Sam, meet me at Colton Hill. You know. Oh, Dad just gave me some insane goosebumps. What the fuck? That is terrifying. They didn't even finish it. <laughs> oh, boy. oh my god. Twenty eighth of the September twenty eighth. Due date for Miss Lastly's book report is right around the corner, and I'm still not finished. If only, or only if I wasn't too disturbed. Normally, I wouldn't bother reading a teen romance story, but for some reason, I thought, hey, why not? The premise of For Mingled itself is pretty generic. Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. She reaches a conclusion that it's because of all those girls around him, so she starts making a list of all the basic girls who also have a crush on Michael. What she's planning to do with the list is yet to be revealed. If I can finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll be able to finish the book report with enough time for a revise. Book equals A+. P.S. I wondered how Brian is doing for his assignments. Why am I interested? Because he's been asking for my help with some of his works, and I gr gladly agreed to. But why would I do that? Because by helping Brian focus on his practices so he can s bring trophies to our beloved school, it's safe to say I'm part of a bigger cause, not like I'm doing this for personal reasons, right? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I feel like um, we both know the truth here. This is, this is a chill game, right? I wanted to read Brian like a book. Peep into his beautiful head. Are you looking at me? Fill it with desires I had to I had to secretly incubate. Okay, now I'm going to puke. Do I have to draw a stick figure? I can't. Oh. Yo! Desires of whispering words like, don't leave me, don't go away, don't smile for others. 
Please don't look away. Please don't look away! Okay. Uh, what if I look away, though? Huh? Ah! <gasps> don't look away. Okay. Okay. Don't look away. Thank you. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. My... My heart is just dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Woo! Don't look away. Don't look away. Noted. What's this? A balloon? Put my face in there? Oh, what the fuck? I wasn't looking away! Are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus Christ. I was not looking away! I'm getting blasted. Don't kill me, please. I just want to live. Okay, I'm just gonna be looking at this. I'm not gonna look away from this. Leave my cursor in the circle. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's her! Wait, that's someone trying to make me look away. What the fuck? I was- I thought that was her. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what the fuck? I was getting grabbed. Oh, here we go. Don't. No, 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 no. No, no. Light! Oh! Okay, Jesus. <laughs> hey, Raptor. Welcome, 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 Raiders. My good God, this game is terrifying. <laughs> October 4th. Stacy invited everyone to the late post victory party at her place this Friday. Weird that she told me this is this at the hallway herself. The sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen. But to think of it as a self-conscious beauty queen like state But to think of it, a self-conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing off how tolerant she could be. I prefer celebrating celebrating quietly in my room, but since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sort of rude of me to not be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him. So it, the least I could do is to show up. Plus, I could probably witness the face Stacy makes when she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Maybe, just maybe, I could even piss her off if I managed to strike up a conversation with Brian's. Brian, an Omega hangout, hanging, an Omega hanging out with an Alpha. Kyle would be busy comfor comforting Stacy, fuming about how I mess up her ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. What could possibly? Go wrong. Omega lol, by the way. Like staring into closed eyes, I could never know if B knew I was looking at him. Did he even know I was there? Maybe he knew, but simply didn't care. The only thing looking back is my decaying sanity. I wanted to look away so much, but what's the point when the stench is still there? Uh... I started to think that the only way to get B's attention was to throw myself off Col Colton Hill. How did I come so low? All I wanted was a chance to show how I feel about B without any noise getting in the way. I still could have set had some peace with Brian, despite, despite all the shit I had to deal with. Brian was, like, was super likable. Everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. The smiles they gave him made me want to puke. They smile as if their relationship with Brian mean, as, mean much more than the one I have with B. And yet, I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Rosen Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. B needed to be a fucking model student. Nothing says pick me to college admission like a spotless student record. You can't just shake up my whole world and leave.
fuck is in here? Are those needles? Help. Can I just continue? Those are freaking needles. You see them? They're syringes, I mean. Same thing. Did it? Suicide suspected in death of missing teenager. The girl of 17 who was found dead at Colton Hill likely ended her own life, police says. Sam Holt, a transfer student of Waywright Academy, had been reported missing for six days until Rosen Peak. Was it needles? I'm pretty sure those are syringes. Uh, Rosen Peak authorities discovered her body in the forest. Due to days of heavy rain around the time of her death, the investigation on Miss Hold's death faced a few challenges. However, interviews with school faculty members and its students led to the possibility that she threw herself off the cliff of Colton Hill after months of rejection from her peers. She was rarely seen with others, says one of her former teachers. She was even publicly humili humiliated just before her disappearance. It must have worked as the tipping point for her. Rosen Peak Police says the fall did not kill Sam instantly. It is possibly she gra gasped for air, though her broken through her broken neck before dying. Waywright Academy now faces a suspicious suspicion of neglecting its students, led by mother uh, by the mother of blah blah blah. October seventh. Oh man, everything's gone wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The pain only escalated the moment Brian texted me. You feeling okay? No, I was not okay. And why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy happy and cute. His words, not mine. Real quick. I was so close to being the center of the party that he had to bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam. You've reached a new low in life. Shit. Shit, is it? Is this it? Is this how I die? I sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill myself. He said maybe now is a good time to show you my secret hideout since I passed the test by showing the whole school a different me. What the fuck? Is he seriously going to take me to his Colton Hill hideout? Tomorrow I'm going to the so-called most romantic place in Rosen Peak with Brian. There's something in my head that's keeping me awake. And it's not a hangover. Hello? Uh-oh. No, please. I don't see- Oh! No. No. What the fuck? Uh, hello? Oh, uh, the door's gone. Alright, well, we're back here. I see someone standing there. Uh-oh. Is that Sam? Hello, Sam. Or is that Brian? What kind of hideout, hideout is this? Goodbye? Um... Uh-oh! No! <laughs> she didn't have a face. Holy shit, what the fuck? Was that... Brian? Or was that her? But wait, what the fuck? Wait, but she died. He pushed her? Is that what... Huh? Uh-oh. Wait, Brian is a killer? That is the plot twist? October 8th. 
Oh my god, Brian actually took me to Colton Hill. The hideout Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town. The whole place under the golden sunset. The best part of this spot was that it is quite hidden and unsafe. You could easily roll down the hill if you are careless or drunk. And no one could find you for days. How awesome is that? What the fuck? <laughs> Being drunk with that wonderful... With, with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident, though. We sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rosen Peak is, and Brian being all meh about it. I guess you can't get can get fed up with the views with views. Wait, I guess you can get fed up with views like this too. Today's only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the hills view back with me. There's a reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close-up shot of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back down from the hill. It became clear that my life just became a bit more messed up now. I know because I really wanted to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly today, diary. Love, Sam. Orion's secret hideout. A closed Colton Hill hiking route discovered by himself so he can hide from the world around him. Not a flashy place, but it had a great view. All the life's problems... What the fuck is this? I wish it could be our special place. Ours and ours only. Colden Hill was nothing but a rock pile of blood-soaked memories now. Why did he not- Why did he have to break my fucking heart? Was it just one of his many friends? Maybe that's it. That's why he wanted to leave, even after I told him we won't be together anymore. He thought he was too good for Rosenpeak, and for me. To him, I was just a background in his picture. Put it in. Put it in. Look around. Hey! What the fuck? Um, photo? Hello? Where you at? Huh? You hiding somewhere? You hiding in the closet? You little shit? No? Okay then. Alright, close it up. Um, in the bathroom? You don't deserve a face. October 10th. The book report was finished days ago, but I can't stop thinking about Mingle. That's really cool. What the fuck, man? Let me out! Someone's taking photos of me, stop it! You gonna take a photo of yourself? What am I doing? Hope you remember how to take a picture. Uh, oops. Oh, I took a photo. I don't like this. Sh Shaving? Uh oh. Hello? No one? Uh oh. It's Madison? Can I read this note that I have in my hand? Where did the note go? Door? Do I hide? I- Can I look through this? Nope, I can't leave. 
Um, hello, I do not want to be here right now. Could I take a picture of you maybe and then survive? I'm just gonna sit down, I guess. I don't even know what I'm doing. Brian got what he wanted in the end. He left Rosen Peak as soon as he was given the chance. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of tainted memories until I drown in my own endless nightmare. Don't leave me. Can I do this? Every night, I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie. Whispers that eat away my brain piece by piece. No matter how I try to. Oh, I thought it was like a mega fucked up. I mean, it's still fucked up, but... Oh god, I hear them again! Uh, no. Are you in hell? Are you in a healthy relationship? Take this quick survey to find out. Can I? Uh, okay. One must take as much as one gives. Yes. Obsession is a stronger form of love. Uh, no. <laughs> no one can have what. No one can have what you can't. No one can have what. No? <laughs> what does this mean? B never loved you. Because you are a selfish little shit. All your problems are caused by you. It's all your fault. Your survey results. It looks like your eyes are still closed. It's like you're listening to your own voice. You're your own voice only. Okay. Keep listening. Then maybe you'll understand something this time. I'm just gonna, uh, flip the page. It's getting worse. The fucking shithole town left a disgusting crack on my heart. And it's getting bigger and bigger. The voices I hear from the crack are getting louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through the gap. Did I even read this note, by the way? I don't think I did. Was this the psycho node? I wait. October thir 13th. Wait, what? Miss Lasleys gave us an easy poetry assignment for once. She said it's okay to make a parody of the classics as long as we stick to the ABCB pattern. So I took the liberty of letting my imagination go ABC berserk. <laughs> Here is a slight taste of my early work. Roses are red, violets are blue. My life would have sucked if it wasn't for you. <laughs> kind of poetic in a fucking weird way. <laughs> Call me Sam Spear. Oh, come on. I could have waited for Brian to ask my help with homework again, but I decided to make the first move this time. And I guess what he said he can handle... Wait, and I get... And guess what? He said he can handle it alone. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried I might have hurt Brian's pride. That's what happens when Sam opens her idiot mouth or uses her idiot brain. P.S. I've decided to carry my diary in my bag. The bag... The doors in the girls' dorm are way too easy to open. Not as easy as Stacy, though, if... You I even saw one of the girls using a notepad to crack her door open. Besides, I have this weird hunch someone's been reading my diary. I've decided to not ignore this hunch. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Did I read the psycho one? I don't know. Did I? Is that this one? The book report was finished days ago, but I can't stop thinking about Mingles, mostly because of my stupid brain think thinks I'm sort of like the main character, Jenny. To summarize the rest of the book, Jenny goes on this jealousy-fueled sabotage rampage on every girl who has a crush on Michael. I know it sounds horrible without context, but it's actually kind of cute! She finally stands on top, but Michael finds out what she's done. She br he breaks Jenny's heart, saying he can't be sure if she is who she is anymore. 
Things work out in the end, but that's not why I sympathize with the dorky psycho girl. Brian is just like Michael, popular, has killer biceps, busy, hanging out with people. I can't see what he wants because of all the noise around him. I know he wants to go to college, but what about beyond the boring stuff? What kind of person does he like? What does he think about me? He told me about his mom, how she died of cancer last year. It must have been so hard trying to look okay in front of everyone who's depending on him. I sometimes feel like he can't see me because he's so busy trying to meet everyone's expectations. I know how those around us can be hurtful, and it's dangerous to rely on them so much. I just wish I can tell Brian one day I'm here for him. Okay. Now I must look for them. One, two, three, four. What? 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 Do I take photos? What am I doing? I can't turn these on. I didn't- I did reach the last page, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see. This is the poem. This is that. Yes? Unless I missed this one. No, that's- we already got that. Did I- wait, I skipped the page? In the diary? No, that we already read that page. I just read it again. Um, what do I do? Um, I'll sorry, I can't go back anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, do I take a photo? I can't take a photo of this. Oh, wait, I can. Am I supposed to do this like in the room? Like one, two, three, so I go here first. Is there something in the trash? Or do I need to pick up something? Let's see. Oh, there's something over here. Ooh! I cherish your smile. Uh-oh. Are we collecting those? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> I indulge your gaze. What? The, is there a fucking dead person on the ground over there? Oh no, it's blood. That's fine. Um, is it in the toilet? Oh, I can't open this. I don't see where the next one is. Oh, up there. Keep me forever warm. Where are the oh, here. Nope, that's nothing. Is it in the closet? Where's the last one? I don't see it. Really? No. Is it in the bathroom? Oh. It says the you don't deserve a face. There it is. <laughs> Be my endless sun rays. Is this our kitchen? I don't think so. Well, um, let's fill them in, I guess. Is this a poem? A fucked up poem? <clears throat> Can't pick these up. Do I just click on them? Oh, here we go. Do I have to do them in order? There you go. Oh, wait, I do have to do them in order. I cherish... I indulge... I cherish your smile. I indulge... Wait. Your gaze? Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, it's a poem. I cherish your smile. Wait, but it doesn't... None of this rhymes. Raise... Ga raise gaze. Whoops. Raise gaze. Raise gaze! I cherish your smile and indulge your gaze 
Keep me forever warm. Be my endless sun rays. October 20th. With Brian preparing for a rematch with the Hammerheads, I once again gladly gave him a hand with the non-important homework stuff. I must say, the teachers here don't give their, their poor students a break just because a test is over. It's not like I'm burdened with helping out, but Brian is re really trying hard to get good grades. From what I heard, he doesn't have much to worry about going to college since he's practically a local football star. Maybe he, his pushy police chief dad raised him to be an overachiever. It's funny how a motto athlete like Brian got friends like Kyle who always find excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair, really. As long as you are a, are a sports star, you'll end up with some with douches like him no matter how nice of a person you are. I don't speak with Kyle much, but I don't need to talk to know what he's like. First of all, his girlfriend is freaking Stacy Laning's aunt, uh, da. The star, the stare he gives me when I pass by is enough to creep me out for the whole day. It would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and start yapping about how Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why does she even care? Like, ask your boyfriend out for a drive. Jeez, have a nice life with him so Brian can stay out of the poison he does not deserve. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, knock on the door. Hey, bad girl, what's up? Uh, it's a, I know him, he's me. Don't move. Hello? Um, I'm looking at myself, it's a mirror. Uh oh. No, thank you. Jesus fuck. It didn't even make a noise, man. I hung up. Get fucked. <laughs> Am I gonna die for that? I hope not. <laughs> I wake up without waking up. I wake up without waking up. Some rain, same, ra same rainy night. My lifeless room, endless nightmare. I'm not picking up the phone. No, thank you. I can't move the page. Stop! Is that you? Can I hang up? I can't click anything when I'm on the phone. I have to either pick up or nothing. Is it gonna call me again while holding the phone? Probably. Infinite calls. I have to. I have to put it down.
What the fuck? Greenheart University. Discover your potential with our early admission pro program. We are waiting for any hardworking and career-driven individuals. What the fuck are you smiling at? It's like it's written like a like a cringe word in Twitch chat. You broke it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Help me! What the fuck? Wait, I died? I was trying to loop it, but I got stuck because it was dark. Excuse me? <laughs> Loop it. <laughs> Loop it. Get Loop. <laughs> What's happening? Loop it. Do I go in somewhere? <laughs> I can't say shit! <laughs> oh. I went into the bathroom stall. This is for B. Don't pussy out. Push the push the shutter. Do it. What in the frickity heckity? Oh, there's a note. Can I open this? I can't, I have to get something here. Oh, there's something in the trash. What, what do I do with this? Fucking hell, I thought someone was like, hands behind me, but it was just the item slowly fading into view. Hey! That's mine! You stole it! What the fuck? Give it back to me. Brittle, thank you for the 14 months. Can I leave this hellhole now? Ooh, I have to go fast! Oh. Just do it, man! Okay. Go, 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 go! Open the fucking door! Oh no, it's only that one that's gone! I'm so dead. They just disappear. Okay. Okay, that was actually the most terrifying thing of all time. I hate this game. I have to be very specific. There you go. Okay, so just make a circle. <laughs> just get out of here! What do you mean it's not done? <laughs> What the fuck? Holy shit. Okay. Okay.
can I read? October 23rd, there was a consulting session for Greenheart University student programs. They called it GUSP, lol, what the fuck? At the gym today. I've seen posters all over the school since the day I arrived. I had nothing better to do, so I decided to give it a visit and my, uh, spend my precious after-school time reading brochures. And once again, just like at the library, I was surprised to see Brian there. He was at the early decision program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran for my room, jumped back into my bed, and out of nowhere, tears started to drop. I bet it was because of those stupid hearts. Yes, I saw those stupid hearts again. Now they were on the gym walls too. Whoever drew them must be very insecure about the relationship. Insecure like me. Deep down, I know I want my own hearts on the walls too. But seeing Brian at the university booth felt like finally getting punched by reality. I have no idea what I'll be doing in a couple of years. I thought of staying here at Rosen Peak. But with Brian preparing to leave, there's no point to, to, point to it. No Brian, no hearts on the wall. God, it's like my brain's creating a storm. I'm just going to lie down for a bit. Hopefully, I'll wake up next week. Three more? It's a big mess here. You made a giant mess. I'm not getting my deposit back. My life is nothing but a repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look around, look forward to this time. Long time ago, when I finally got to accept my feelings for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. But every day was still just like every day. He was still a school star. I was still his friend. When you live in Rosen Peak, people expect things to stay the same. If anything changed between us, it could ruin B and everything around him. So that's how it went. Nothing changed when my whole world burned. I kept telling myself maybe after graduation I'll be able to express my feelings for him. I, I, I left... I let the fire in my heart eat through my soul and body. I called myself a coward, but I chose to keep what little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid crawled up. Cr I was a poor kid crawled up in a bed. Her. Okay, so we got you and her. Are we collecting body parts? Poor? Do I really deserve that charity title? Am I really the victim of all of this? Who is here to judge me anyway? It's all over. Everyone left me. So why do I have to feel like I'm being chased? Like someone's always watching me. Like someone's always trying to judge me. Did the invite go? How did the invite go? Wait, what? She in or not? Wait. Oh, she's coming. Dork. Dorks like her can't say no to a party like this. Sweet time to give her the drama she wants so bad. Stacy's mom has got it going on. November 2nd. I know I used half of this diary writing about Stacy being a bitch, but now she's just being unstable. It wasn't even past the first class when I saw her arguing like crazy with Kyle. Her sh her, sh her shouting like I'm like I'm done with doing shit for you before storming away. Then she saw me. I was her next target. She strut strutted towards me and said, "This is all your fault." Why don't you go back to fucking San Diego? Whoa, what did I do? She was off before I could even open my mouth. I turned to Kyle for answers, but he was gone too. Come to think of it, I rarely saw them hanging out recently, but I didn't know things were this intense. Ryan's been acting weird th too, though. He, w he hasn't talked to me much recently. He even looks somewhat more upset than usual. I finally tried to ask him what was wrong, but he cut me short, asking if I called him last night again. All I could give was a blank. Blank face until Brian said, never mind, and walked away. What was that about? What did he mean by again? Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason is something I've dreamed of. But that doesn't mean I actually did it. What the hell is going on? Um, I'm confused. It's because of her. The moment she came into our lives, what little I had to enjoy started to crumble. Only bad changes happened in my life. No matter how hard I tried to protect it. So there, I'm, I'm just guessing there's two girls. One is Sam and the other is whoever is writing the diary. I mean, that's what they are seeming to imply. I don't know if they're going to give us a, like a like a plot twist or whatever. A, a cute city girl to become an outsider. That was all she was to me. Hell, that was all she was to everyone else. Even to be. But then I saw them talking at the library. 
I couldn't see clearly, but I know, could know fr it from B's face. He was making her smile. It was another smile taunting my feelings for B. No one would ever know what kind of emotions I was hit with at the moment. A change was happening, and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either. And she could never stand letting an easy social prey slip away from her. Naturally, Stacy took a peek into her diary one day. She took pictures of some of the entries and sent them to me and her gang. She wanted everyone to join her twisted and childish game. The diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about how Brian took that cunt on a fucking tour of the town. He had no interest in girls whatsoever, and suddenly now he's hanging out with an outsider. That moment I got tired of doing nothing. I knew I had to do something, so I gave Stacy an idea. It was going to be easy, spike her drink, get her wasted and humiliate the shit out of the city girl in front of everyone. Only then she would know she would know her place. It could have been so simple, only if B didn't get in the way. Bummer. Was hoping to do nasty stuff to her drunk ass. What the fuck? Still can't believe Brian had to take her away like that. Brian Hero? Well, needy bitches like Sam don't... Don't... Wait, do make some feel people feel sorry. She did mention something about her dad in the diary. Bet she has some nasty daddy issues too. Got an idea. How about we show everyone how, a ne how needy a bitch can be? Excuse me? This is like onions right now? There are layers? Mmm, sounds fun, but how? Leave it to me. Just keep reading her diary once in a while. This is fucked? What? Oh. So... There's two people. Don't fucking do that. Don't. There's the Sam. Who is a little creepy, but then there is the whoever, unnamed girl, diary girl, who is, like, fucking insane. What the fuck? Hello? Uh-oh. What the fuck are you smiling at? What the fuck are you smiling at? It's uh, Undertale now? What the hell is going on? Oh, oh! Holy fuck. There are eyeballs outside now? What the fuck, man? I don't even know. November 6th. This is what is. I don't even know how to describe what happened this morning. This is fucked up. My hands are shaking again. It started when I opened my locker and something poured out. For a few seconds, my brain was cut off from whatever was happening. When I finally looked down, there were dozens of pic pictures scattered on the hallway floor. All of them were pictures of Brian, Brian with, a, with gibberish written on them. The whole school was at the hall. They looked at the pictures, then at me, and then at the pictures. Brian was there too. The face he gave me. The face of disgust. He turned away and left. He didn't even say anything. I tried to chase him. Say something. Anything to him. The floor started spinning and people started whispering. Like they knew what was going on. The air soon began to choke my throat. I swept what was on the floor and ran off to class. Of course, Stacy must have something to do with this. I looked for her, but she was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was, not was about nothing but avoiding eye contact with anyone. I can't sleep. Ryan's not answering any of my texts. There's no one to talk to. This is really fucked and very, like, what the heck? It's, it's, like, completely different from what I expected it would go like that, go down like. The diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about how Brian took that. Oh, this, we already read this? It could have been so simple, only if B didn't get in the way. B kept saying nothing was going on between them. Lies. Lies. But I wasn't going about to believe everything was just rainbows and butterflies. How could you lie? How could you? How could you? In my eyes, Sam was using Brian to fill her sad, empty life. I couldn't let that happen. She wanted drama she didn't deserve. She doesn't deserve. She wanted drama she didn't deserve. 
I'm guessing that's one sentence. She doesn't deserve shit. She doesn't get to barge in and start stealing the life I've only dreamed of. Stacy kept doing what she does best, digging into other secrets. She sent pictures of the little shit's diary pages to me. That's how I found out about their little trip to Colton Hill. It was our hideout since the first year of high school, and her presence turned into to fucking nothing. How could B do this to us? The only way to break them apart was to show Brian where the creep she was. And then... I kept reading the disgusting words she wrote in her diary. At the same time, I felt something. A reminder of how I felt when I fell for B. How it felt so right and terribly wrong. Screaming into my pillow never helped with making the feelings go away. So Sam is not the stalker, but whoever writes B... Like, the one who refers to Brian as B is the stalker, but we have no name for her. Or him, I don't know. Did you find the diary yet? Babe, I think you're starting... I think you're taking this too seriously. Did you find it or not? I think she knows I'm sneaking into her room. I can't find it anywhere. Didn't she say? Didn't she say something? Like Sam wrote about... Sam wrote about... Having to hide her diary in her backpack, didn't he? Yeah. No, so... Stacy is who, who's Stacy in this conversation? We're talking to Stacy, so we're probably Kyle. You're giving up now. Forget it. Please, babe. Maybe Brian doesn't even like the girl. Okay, no. So we're wait. Wait, what the fuck? I said forget it. Yeah, I think I'm just confused. Who's who's talking? We're talking. We're the right. Stacy's left. Yes. So we're probably Kyle. I said forget it. What the fuck? November 7th. The school counselor called me today. Mr. Ferns asked me if the rumors were true. Rumors that I've been leaving hard drawings all over school. Rumors that I've been stalking Brian. At this point, the whole school must be out of its mind. I didn't even know the let. Oh wait, we're we're Sam right now. Uh, I didn't even know the letters in the fucking heart spelled S and B. And what? Just because the initials are S and B, suddenly every name starts with that starts with them are either Sam or Brian. And guess what? Even crazier words are on the streets. Sam Holt, the daughter of a child molester, craves forbidden love. How on earth did Stacy find out about my dad? Why would she do so so much to fuck up my life? And where the fuck is she? Is she? You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to listen to me. I'm tired of looking for words to describe this fucked up situation. I can't believe I have to go through this again. So far from home. And so soon. Brian, please. Please say something. That's the last one? Uh oh. Wait, so now I'm confused. There was someone who at some point said I need to like die to get his attention. Was that in this diary, right? That was in this diary. It must have been. I'm just like, because I've confused these two as one person for a while. But that's not that's not the case at all. I kept reading, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Then I remembered. She wrote something about her dad. It must have had something to do with her existence in, in my life. I started digging. It wasn't even a challenge. Keith Holt, Holt, arrested for sexually assaulting a teenager. It was beautiful. I found the perfect ending. All I had to do was fill in the rest of the story. Brenda Johns. Oh my god, how could Sam Holt not eat herself? If my dad went on the news for touching teenage girls, that's bye-bye world for me. What the f Dude, this shit's fucked. Completely fucked up. This is also something we have not heard about at all. Sam Holt calls Brian from a payphone in the middle of the night and silently listens to, him, to his voice. That is not at all what... Sam Holt takes Brian's pictures and keeps them hidden in her locker. Sam Holt draws hearts all over the school to let others know Brian is hers. She's only 17, by the way. A needy city girl with ser serious issues. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one even... Wait. The, the, the Facebook posts were changing? I did not even... Sorry. I did not see that. 
Um, I'm skipping the tweets. I don't even want to read the tweets. That shit's fucked up, man. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one even, no one, even Brian would think otherwise. I made all the preparations while Stacy spread the rumors I created. It was never easy. I once almost got caught taking a picture of Brian using the restroom. But I kept going. Every picture I took was a love confession. I could never make. Every heart I drew was my sacrifice for him. And in the end, and in the end, I got what I wanted. When enough suspicion piled up on Sam, I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was a happy coincidence that B was there to see the spectacular unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to turn back to normal. And then, Stacy's drama filled head exploded. Hide? What the fuck, man? Hide! Hide! Oh, it's like red light, green light? What the fuck? Hello? What's happening? I can't see. Can't see help. Oh, I can't open the doors. Okay. So it's gonna blast, and then we need to be quiet. Or we need to be. And then it's gonna go away, and we hide. Maybe you can run forever. Maybe you'll be able to live again. Can I go this way? Is this gonna be out of sight? Please be out of sight. Oh! Okay, dude. I was not ready for that. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Do I go? Do I go? Oh, come on! I was trying to... Fuck you. What's the there was nothing in the microwave. That's the blood that was there before. Yes, 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 yes. I can't sprint. This is fucked up, man. Uh, what? I was literally going as fast as I could! Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, am I not- am I missing a hiding spot? I might be missing a hiding spot. Go, 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 Okay, we made it. And go. Go, 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 go. Okay. L wait, finally move on, lol JK, you're gonna die? What do you mean? <laughs> Can't go there. What do I do? Oh, I need to grab the note. Can't grab the note. I'm done what? I'm done watching you get away with the shit you've done to me. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? That you've been using me to break Sam and Brian apart so you can have some fun with her? Wait. Wait, what the fuck is happening? Wait, excuse me? Well, I had... My share of fun when I told Brian what you've been doing. You should... Wait, excuse me? It's so this is Stacy writing to Kyle. Wait. Kyle is out for Sam? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, this, the plot keeps changing. Yeah, this is Stacy. It's at the bottom. Um, well, I had my share of fun when I told Brian what you've been doing. You should have seen the, the face he made when I got the part of you drawing those er, er, cards all over school. I hope you enjoy your happy life now that there's no Brian to get in your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at that college poster. What did you... 
What? Did you like the girl in the poster too? Is that why you tore her face off? You need help. And don't bother calling me. Oh! Wait, Stacy thinks it's about... Okay, Stacy thinks it's about... Sam, not Ryan. But... Okay. I think uh, this is just Stacy's misunderstanding is what I think. Yeah, Ky Kyle is in love with Brian. Can I read? When enough suspicion... Yeah, okay. And then Stacy's drama-filled head exploded. Um... Please, man. Stacy got it all wrong. It's just a misunderstanding. This looks like text from, like, social media. I was just trying to prevent Sam from getting into your head. Please, B, don't do this. Text me back, please. This is Kyle texting Brian. The la the day Stacy told Brian was the last day he talked to me. He was so angry at me. He would never understand what I did for him. Typical. So fucking typical. Again, I was left alone to suffer. This time alone. Someone had to pay for it. Wait. Oh, no. This was you. In the locker? And this was her. Brian? What is that? Can I pick it up? Uh oh. Um, hello? It's locked. Open the door! This story is absolutely fucked. I can't- can I move the pitch? I cannot move the pitch. Uh-oh. Is there a key somewhere? That I'm missing? Um, key in the trash? Key in here? Nope. Oh, wait, key? What is that? That's just a nothing. Um, anyone? Anyone in here? Can I, I can't, can I draw? There wasn't a key in here. I can also not barely see. Can I open this? I can't open this. Wait. Who the fuck made that noise? Wait, what? There are needles on the ground? What is in the locker? I can't open the locker! I was trying to look into it. Maybe I need it. Can I pick anything up? Let's see. What is this? Oh my god. Uh, how did we not? Sam, meet me at Colton Hill. You know where to find me. This is Kyle. You. What the fuck? We found that so much. We found it like an hour ago. I did. I completely forgot about that note. Holy shit. Um. Oh, and that was what we heard! We heard someone in the lockers when we walked there, didn't we? What the fuck? Oh. Uh-oh. I see eyes. I see something. What is that? Oh, uh, dude! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Stay away. Wait, they're on both sides. Both sides. What the fuck? Hide. Hide. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I can't. Do I have to stay in the middle? What the fuck? Dude, this just messed up. Can I hide? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Is there any locker I can hide into? Oh, God. Try to smudge stick? None of these lockers open. This is all completely bull. Do I talk to the laughing one? Oh.
now we're ah uh, oh no Holy fuck, dude, the way they do this is absolutely terrifying. I was expecting me to just replay the cutscene. Holy fuck. The note? It's in her bag? Must get rid of it? I said at the start, cows like... <laughs> Let's not blame all cows. This cow is fucking insane. <laughs> How do I... No. Do, am I gonna jump down? Uh, I need a stick. That's what the stick's for! Oh my god! Dude. <laughs> it's all coming together. What the fuck? Where's the stick? Stick? I can't, I don't see stick. My, the heartbeat is making me go insane. Under, under the rock? On the rock, here, here, here. Stick. Oh my God, Kyle. <laughs> Holy shit. This guy is- can we just remind ourselves that this guy is fucking 17 years old? That they're both 17 years old? That's fucking insanity. I don't know if she could have been saved. She should have never gotten into this situation. Like, this was just completely fucked. Wait. He kept that?! He kept the- Wait, what? October 20th, with Brian preparing for a rematch with the Hammerheads once again. Okay, so he's reading the- he's, he's tore out the pages and that was what we were reading. But he did burn it. Wait, what? The whole bag and everything? I guess. Wait, I'm moving now. I, where the fuck am I? It looks like my house, but not. It's a huge lighter. Excuse me? That's a big lighter, what the fuck? Was an accident. I never meant to kill her. Or maybe I did, did I? But does it matter now? Did any of what I did matter? I left the team soon after what happened to Colton. After that, the school. From what I've heard, Brian easily got accepted into to the university. He left town right after graduation. The fact that he's, that he's a star athlete with notable school record worked like a charm. He's been growing the idea of leaving Rosen Peak since his mom died. Living alone with this obnoxious dad didn't help much with being attached to his hometown. We never got to talk about it seriously. Brian didn't really want to. But every time he hinted about leaving, I tried so hard to ignore what it meant for me. Even those college posters all over the school were laughing at me. They were making fun of me, of the impending doom. They were all saying, Haha, see, you're going to die alone here. Maybe I knew. I knew that B, that B took an interest in Sam because she was just a, a clueless new girl who was lonely enough to do anything for any guy who was nice to her. But jealousy is a strong creature. It quickly devoured my mind. 
soon anger took control of me, and I just needed someone to be mad at other than Brian. Even after he left me, anger stayed. It devoured me whole. And again, it's time to wake up. But wake up for what? To be greeted by the fact that I must start running around in circles again? That I must stick needles in my body so I can forget my past for a few fucking minutes? It's just like that story Miss Lastly once told us about. The shortest horror story in the world. The last man on Earth heard a knock on the door. Wait, that's actually... <laughs> a good story. <laughs> I'm alone in my room. I'm alone in this world. There's someone knocking on the door. I don't know who it is, but I keep the door locked. No one comes in. No one gets out. I'm so tired. I just want it to end. Let's just wake up. Let's just open the door. I don't care who or what's waiting for me. But what about my diary? The one I've been keeping to rem I've been keeping to remind myself how I am the victim? Okay, my dude. I don't know what I would... Are you... How does he have both crippling guilt and also doesn't know that he did everything completely fucked? What? Like, how could you have crippling guilt and also be a psychopath? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what I would do without it. What will keep me from going insane? So here comes the big question. Should I keep it? Yes, so the police can find you. Yes. Yes. Keep it. Keep it. Keep the evidence. Fuck it. I'm not going to give up the only thing that's left for me. Nothing's my fault. I'm not going... I'm not letting go of... I can't see. Someone knocked on the door. It's- I'm so slow right now. What the fuck? You see how slow I'm moving to the freaking light switches? Did I just get blasted? What the fuck just happened? Wait, is this a different- no, it's the same house. It will never end. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This game is fucked up. But so good. So good, but so bad. <laughs> like, so fucked up bad, as in that. Holy shit. What an actual scary game. So, I don't know. I'm guessing there's two endings there if you say no or yes. I'm guessing that's what that would, that's the choice you have. You can either say no and, like, be completely disgusting. And yes, and I, I don't know, yet, they, obviously, either way, Kyle is an absolute psychopath. And Sam got caught up in something that was really unfair. Uh, Korean Linguistic Lab? Wait, what? So, okay, I mean, we could go over the story. It seems, it's fair, it's fairly obvious. Uh, Sam, girl, goes to New City to leave, leave her old city because of the drama sh that her dad was terrible and she got obviously bullied for that because children are fucking disgusting human beings sometimes or teenagers i would i should say and then she left because she didn't want to be there anymore then she went to what is this place called again i forgot what the name of the place was she, but she went to this town and then fell in love with brian brian fell in love with her kyle had a or Kyle was in love with Brian, even though I don't think this was ever spoken out. Uh, St Kyle was also dating dating Stacy, who Stacy did not know. Kyle liked Rosen Peak. That's right. Kyle, Stacy did not know Kyle liked Brian. She thought Kyle liked Sam. Stacy, what is Stacy like? What did Kyle ever tell Stacy to make her do these things? Because ultimately. I mean, obviously, Kyle is the fucked up person, like, the, the main villain. But Stacy is also mega fucked. Like, Stacy stole her diary, went in with this insane plan to frame Sam for being, like, a stalker. 
she is just insane. She just loves drama. She's just a, I mean, that, this doesn't make it. Okay. She's just insane. She's just a bully, insane person. Oh, she is insecure because Sam is like a, like a, like a nice girl or something. See, she's just a drama queen. Okay. Uh, make, makes sense, I guess. Uh, but then, and then Stacy thought that Kyle, so Stacy breaks that up, gives, or tells, or Stacy stops doing that because she thinks that Kyle wants Sam, then tells Brian, Brian stops talking to Kyle, Kyle goes mentally crazy, kills Sam, and then goes, has a lot of guilt, but at the same time thinks he's a victim. I don't understand that part, because... He's like, he says that he's like, he's using drugs and stuff to like, get rid of the guilt. But then also, he is still, like, thinks he's a victim for some reason. So yeah, Kyle is just like, messed up in all kinds of ways. And then, I'm guessing the, what's the ending? What's the meaning of the ending? We keep being haunted by what, what happened. I'm guessing that's what it is. Like, we keep being haunted by the past. I don't know if there was an, like, a different ending. If you said no. Second ending. Oh, wait. What? If you don't keep the book, oh, the second ending is better, but for the reason that we thought the first ending was better. Oh, so the second ending is where you turn in the book to the police. You say, no, I don't keep it. You give it to the police. Is that what I'm guessing? There's even more than two endings? How is there more than two endings when there's only two choices? I guess the starting choice makes sense. The starting choice... Oh, maybe the starting choice matters and the ending choice. There's like a there's like four different endings based on the start and end choice. I think that's what I'm guessing. We're not gonna do a full playthrough again, but I'm get I'm guessing that the the best ending would obviously be to turn himself in. So there's some kind of justice for Sam because obviously anything that happened to Sam, like if you re the only reason there were some I forgot what what was exactly said in Sam's all of Sam's letters. I just read it with the context of the other diary, which in context with the other diary, it felt like some of the things she was saying in like the diary or in the letters that she was writing felt a little stalkerish but that was mostly because of the context of the diary that we were reading the main diary that was obviously fucked up so yeah um that was a really really well-made game like a very scary experience with a really strong story obviously messed up but it is a it is a video game so it's <laughs> we can all be impressed by a good t told story with a nice, like, a very de developed plot twist that you could have seen coming or could have seen hints here and there. Always like it when that happens. So, yeah, I had a great time. Let me know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the love of the games here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Holy shit. Continue? Wait. What happens? Wait, what happens with continue? Wait, excuse me? Oh no, that just starts. Wait, can we click the no ending? Wait, let's quickly see. Wait, well, I just want to see what this means, what this does. What if, what if I click the other ending? Does that change major things? Let's see. I don't think we can change the starting choice. So I doubt that's, yes, yes. Okay, so we say no this time. Does that change something? So this time we don't keep it. What now? What now? Hello? Um, hello? I wrote it. I know the pages. No, it's time. Oh, here we go. So, okay. So it was literally the opposite. Okay, so it was literally the opposite, uh, like, the choice we wanted to make, which is, like, keep it for evidence, is the choice that is not keep the book, which is, okay, so it was, like, the opposite way. So, no, it's time to admit I've been keeping a memory of lies. I'm the only one to blame for the shit I had to deal with. It's about time- No, don't burn it! That's exactly what you shouldn't do! But what after that? I could open the door of her, of here, out of here, face whatever's waiting for me, or I could just stay- Okay, so it is literally the worst ending. This sucks. Whatever the choice, it's time to say goodbye. Okay. So, yeah. I, I agree with the first ending, then. If that's the only- So, we gonna- You're gonna be a fuck- Fuckhead now? Wait, what? I'm confused. Do we click this? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? 
Uh, I'm... Can I just die? Can I just stay in the fire and die? Who is there? We die? I mean, it's a little bit more justice. Crawling to the door? What the fuck? The door opens? Don't! No! What is happening? This is probably not a better ending. Or is it? There's no fire. What is happening? Did he overdose? I was finally awake. My head was aching from the desperate pumping of my heart. My burning lungs sucked in air for what felt like an eternity. But I knew nothing was over. I needed to get what's coming to me. Okay. I told the police everything. Oh my god. This is this makes no sense. But there you go. Okay. It makes no sense that that is how you get to that ending. It won't fix what I've done, but at least I finally got the closure I deserved. I know it doesn't mean anything now, but goodbye, B. Okay. That's a better ending. I don't know why getting rid of the journal would make him turn himself in, but yeah, okay, that ending is better. Anyway, that was a little bonus for those who actually somehow stuck stuck around after the outro. So yeah, there you go, you saw a better ending. Anyway, now I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're here, you might watch all the videos to the end, so you might also be interested in joining the Discord we have, uh, where you can just chat with all the community members. It's a lovely place over there, which I don't tend to plug in the YouTube videos. I think I'll plug them at the end as like a little secret bonus for those who are the most, who give the most most fucks about the community. So yeah, if you want to join that, link is always in the description. You can join us over at discord.gg slash insim. But anyway, now I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Alrighty.